So I have this soaker hose. I had it rolled up around here. I never really, I couldn't remember why I didn't like it, but I never threw it away. Yep, that's Katie's kennel. I just couldn't take it in the house anymore. I put a new pee pad, puppy pad in it every night. It's wadded up the next day. She, like, I guess it's caught pee because her kennel is never wet. But, um, hi guys. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, but, you know, she, she's, she's a goat. She poops little pellets. It's perfect. It's so perfect. And I'm so happy that it's not, you know, nasty or messy or na anything like that. It's just little pellets. But she kicks them out because that little thing is like this tall, the little lip of that tray. And so as she keeps messing around in there, she kicks them all out. So then I'm sweeping the floor and vacuuming and all these little pellets out. I'm just like, I can't do it no more. So she's got, like I said, I'm going to, she's being weaned right now, guys. She's, I took, did today was my first day not to give her that three o'clock in the afternoon bottle. She had a morning one, but she, I skipped this afternoon one and she'll get her nighttime bottle all up it. Usually it's at nine. I'm going to up it and put it to about 830 so she doesn't go quite as long as normal, but, or, or maybe even eight. But, um, yeah, she's, uh, she's been weaned from one middle, mid, her midday bottle. And, uh, I don't even know where she's at right now. Normally she hears me come out. She's hollering at me. Um, but she's going to come on out at night to the kennel here on the back porch. And at least, I know it sounds I don't know, probably sounds weird to say it, but on the porch, because it's porch deck, and these are put real close together. I built, when I built this deck, I mean, I shoved them to each other, but on the back porch, I did leave a little space, and then as they dry, they had a little bigger space, so I'm going to be able to just, if she kicks any out, I'm gonna be able to sweep them right down in the little cracks and down to the ground under the porch, so that'll be perfect. And then on the 12th, she'll be, a full two months old um, a lot of people are are completely weaned their goats by two months I don't want to completely wean her off her bottle at two months but I do want her outside so um, I've got a pallet in my wood shop and I'm gonna bring it out here and put it on the ground I think I already talked about it and, and put some boards on it to make it oh she's a eating right over there at the edge of the pool. I've done some work on my pool today and I'm fixing to pull that ladder out of there. I'm not keeping that ladder, I hate it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the big gray one that goes with the pool in it. And um, I let a lot of water out. Can y'all see the water line? You can sort of see it, the water's all the way down. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and keep it one more summer. And if we don't get any more use out of it this summer, then at the end of the summer, before it sits for the winter, I'm going to go ahead and post it. I told staff, I said, I wish you had told me that y'all were thinking about getting a pool because I'm trying to, I wanted to get rid of this one. And she's like, I didn't know. So they've got theirs up and it looks really pretty over there. I like the design on theirs. Well, I liked the design on mine. I like the, the gray. Um, theirs is that dark, dark brown. It's really pretty. Hi, little girl. But she is wanting a bottle. She thinks when she comes running to me every time I come out this afternoon, she's fixing to get one. It's um, way past her bottle time, actually. It's, I think it's five. I'm trying to look at my watch. I can't get my button pushed. Oh no, it's 10 after six, so that's even better. Um, I thought it was a little after five. I'm so far off. Me and Levi just got through eating. I did a really cute video. Y'all would have already seen it by the time you get this video, but I did a real cute video of him with his, uh, the, the actually the meal is no big deal. I said, leave, I show him what you're eating and he showed what he was eating, but the meal is not the big deal because we basically eat healthy. I mean, like, yeah, when we're on the go, when we're on the on. go, 
we just eat, you know, I'll get him, you know, hamburger. I'll get him water burger or McDonald's or something when we're out and about. But just here at home, I always have something healthy for him to eat. So showing the, the little chicken wrap was no big deal because I always um, have, if I don't make my own chicken, like cook up some chicken, then I have in my freezer all the time the grilled, it's, I don't think it's Tyson. I can't remember. It's ready to serve grilled. And you can get it in fajitas. You can get it, I mean, you can get it in chicken fajitas or you can get it in beef fajitas. They're already in that strip form. Or you can get it diced. I use the diced all the time in my pot pies. When I make a pot pie, I always use the diced because it's there's just really, really good chicken um, and really good beef if you get the the fajitas, the beef fajitas. But anyway, that wasn't a big deal. But he did. Um, she sees somebody. Anyway, um, what I was going to show y'all out here was I had. Hold on a minute ago. Well, what I was saying was, I get sidetracked. Um, I see Bree keeps making trips out there because of her horses are out there in the pasture. I guess she was looking at them. I always loved watching, just sitting on my back swing um, and watching Dabney when she was out in this pasture. She was the sweetest. I don't think we've ever had a horse as sweet as her. And she would follow Connor around, just sniffing his hair and walking along behind him. And when he was little, so, so many times when I was like being doing yard work, and you know I kept Connor. And uh, we just had I didn't have goats then. I just had her, and um, I just had a, a barbed wire fence that went across, I was talking about this a while back in another video, but I think I cut it out. But my backyard ended right here. See the corner of the chicken coop right there? That was, it just kept coming straight on across and it went to the fence right over here. And that was, this This was the end of my backyard. So here I'm in my yard, but if I turn like this, I'm outside of my yard looking in and she would come up in her water trough actually was that blue one over there that i use for the chickens now it was the same water trough and she, her water was here and um i had a gate in the corner where i could go out to mow but uh yeah she would come up to this fence and it was just like i said it was a barbed wire fence three three strands and he would love her through the fence and um that stall there that Molly uses that was Dabney's stall and I have several pictures of Connor and Levi in the pool and Dabney's got her head over that thing just watching them she just she just loved the kids um she had arthritis in her knee and it was it got bad and it got to be where it's basically untreatable I had done lots of things when she was younger but as she got older oh I've got a little chick out how did he figure that out um but uh as she got older it was it was getting harder to i found her laying down more often and um it was just uh i told daddy i said look after harvey she ended up in the back with um with dad's two horses and i know y'all remember when he had to have his one horse put down because she had the cancer, but she had that wound that wouldn't heal from the flood. And then later they, I think they found that they, that she had a cancer. Um, but yeah, she uh, ended up with those two in the back because everything was just sort of, you know, everything was just messed up for a while. So she was back there with them and then I got to thinking, you know, she's happy back there. And she wasn't being ridden. You couldn't ride her. You rode her. In fact, when I got her, and she was, you know, I had her probably about 15 years. When I got her, she, I mean, she already had the arthritis. But at the time, he sort of played it down. 
and the gentleman said, now he, did, I, he didn't charge me, he gave her to me, which was one sort of, you could say, well, if he's just giving her away, then there's a problem. But he did say that he just wanted her to go to a good home, that he'd gotten her for his grandkids, and as they got older, they were in um, sports and and 4-H, and there was they were being pulled other directions than having the afternoons to come over to Grandpa's house and ride a horse. And he said, but when they that recently, the last few times they had ridden her, after they rode, she would be lame, you know, just sort of limping around on that leg for a few days, you know, well. Evidently, it was probably longer than a few days, but what I don't remember what he told me, but then it would get better, and she would be better, and then they'd ride again, and he said it would happen again. So, he said that, um, I can't remember if it was his grandson or his granddaughter, but one of them was getting a cow, a steer, or something for show, and he really needed the pasture, and since they weren't riding her anymore, and she had this reoccurring injury... That he really just wanted her to go to a good home so i took her and i brought her here and never rode her the first time well that's a lie i rode her in the field because daddy uh we dropped her off and put her in the gate and um i rode her from the fence over to her stall got off of her never got on her again I just wanted to make, I just really wanted to see was she rideable and she was rideable without saddle and without bridle. She had a uh, halter on and the lead and that's what I rode her with from across that pasture over here where Buddy and Steph's house is now. That's, that was, you know, they weren't there then and it was all my pasture and uh, rode her across that pasture and with a, nothing but a, a lead and a halter. But she was as sweet as she could be. Followed Connor everywhere. And what I was saying was every now and then I'd look out and he would be a couple of different times. I'd look out and he would be, he had gone under the fence and was out loving her. And when I would say, get your butt back in this yard. I didn't ever mind that he was out loving her. But I didn't want him to do things without me knowing. Do I have black on my face? Because this soaker hose got me all black back here. Anyway, when he would come back to the fence and go under, she had followed him all the way back up and then would stand at the fence and he'd love her through the fence and he'd give her things. And I have that one picture that he of him just recently on my Facebook where he was feeding her Cheetos. She was sweet, sweet, sweet. So I, I know how Bree feels looking out and seeing your horses in the pasture because um, my favorite horse from when I was younger was Sierra. Ooh, she was lightning, man. She... She outrun everything up here. My cousin used to always want to race. And they had quarter horses. Oh, they're supposed to be so fast. Sierra was mixed breed of some sort. And she had Appaloosa in her, I knew. Um, but she had the spots on her, butt, on her butt like an Appaloosa. But she had some gray in her. Anyway, she, uh, she'd, out be, she'd, she'd outrun his horse every time. She was, I loved her, Sierra. Anyway, I was working out here today on this. I've got to figure out how that chicken got out. Um, I hope she didn't fly up and find a way over. I might have to clip their wings if that's what she did because that hardware cloth goes all the way around that thing. Y'all seen it the other day. I don't see how cause she could have found a way out of there. So I have this soaker hose. I had it rolled up around here. I never really, I couldn't remember why I didn't like it, but I never threw it away. So I laid it on the ground and it wouldn't lay and I don't have the little pins anymore that it came. There were a few pins. I remember when I got it and it came just from the dollar store. 
But what I noticed, now I know it's going uphill right now, but it, that's now. When I first brought it out here, it was laying along the ground, and I couldn't get this hole in. There's just like at a section, it stopped being wet. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with it? It's like something was stopping the water from coming from right there. I, I know this, you can't really see, but the hose... Look, there's so much, look at all this hose that's left. It goes up and it goes around and it goes around. When it was laid on the ground and I had it wrapped this way and around the celery, it was on the ground, but the water would not come past right here. So that's like, it's gotta be eight foot of hose that's not got any water going down it. So I don't know what the problem is, but Maybe that's why I didn't like it when I got it. Maybe it did that. I don't remember why. So what I thought, though, is because I liked it in the air. I, after I pulled, picked it up off the ground, I thought I didn't, when it was on the ground, I couldn't make it stay, and it kept rubbing against the plants, and I didn't want it to, you know, if you pull it a little bit, then all of a sudden it was knocking a plant over, and I was like, okay, I'm going to break my plants messing with this dumb hose. So I ran it through the top to the can y'all see it it's running through the middle of the tomato ring and then right through that that fencing and then it's basically just dripping down here i was going to put a stake underneath it um i've got a couple of uh i don't know what they were I think they were some of old Steph's old real estate signs, the kind that just have the two legs and you slide that piece of board, that plexi board, board down on them. Anyway, I don't have the boards anymore, but, oh, you know what? That's a lie. They weren't Steph's. They were um, vote for me signs from a long time ago for different people that's asked me, could they put signs in my yard? And I say, yeah. And then when the thing was over, I'd pull them up and... I still had a, a couple of the stake things that they're hooked to. Anyway, I was going to get one and stick it in right here and let that lay on top of it. But regardless, this end is not working. So what I think, though, I'm going to do, I'm going to try, is to get some pipe, some PVC pipe, and run it through. Now, I'll have to do something with it here. It'll have to be something, like, like what I said, one of those, those stake things. Something's going to be in the air to hold it up because I want it to be up. I'm going to drill the holes in the bottom for it to have a drip. And I'm going to start it up. It's, you know, it'll be... I'm going to run it about where the height is of the hose is right now. But this hose is coming in down here at the bottom, so... I'm going to put it in about right here and run it. Look at my nails. I pull, peeled this one off. I'm going to put it in right here, and it's going to go straight through. And then I'll put an elbow on it down here. And it'll turn and go over there on that side. And I'll put an elbow on it. And then it'll go back this way. Up in the air. Oh, look, I got corn coming up. Ah, so exciting. Um, can y'all see them? Can you see those little corns? They're all through here. There's, an, there's another couple right there. Oh, the stupid wire. Look right there. There's some. There's some. I really, there's some. Was worried that those cats or that one chicken that was in here that day had messed them up, but there's some, there's some, there's some, there's some. I don't see the ones down here. Oh, there's some. The one that's in this corner's not up. They may have messed that one up. Dad gum it. Anyway, um, then it'll run back down here, the pipe all the way down, and then down here at the end, I will just put a, a a cap on it so it won't come out any further and on that end i'll put the water hose um connector end on it so the hose can just hook to it and then i'll just let it drip on everything and then if 
it gets to the point that my plants are growing up around them or they're it, that you know going through the middle like that and up high is in the way then i will unhook the water hose and pull it forward enough that i can get it out of the wire down here out you know like pulled in and then drop it down to where it's like just as like where the hose is now and then i will put it just down closer to the ground instead of on the ground because it's going to be a it can't be like a soaker hose it can't lay in the ground it's got to drip down into the dirt so i i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to take a measure because i'm pretty this is eight and that's eight so that's basically a 16 foot length and 16 over there and three four five six, i think that's ten I want to say from that corner to this corner is 10, maybe closer to nine. But so I can't remember if you can buy that in 10, point, 10 foot joints or eight foot joints. If I can get it in eight foot joints, it'd be easier because it'll fit in my car good. My truck is doing something weird. I was going to have Buddy look at it. When I turned in the other day coming from the feed store, it went like... I knew what it was doing. Something when your wheel when your wheel straightens back out, it's not doing it. But when your wheel turns, it's making a rubbing sound. And I don't know what that is. And I looked under to see if there was a branch or a stick that I. But I was on the street, and I hadn't run over anything. So something is not right, and I'm not driving it until it is right, or until I know it would be okay to drive it to have it fixed. Because right now, my, my mind says you're going to have to have this truck towed somewhere. And I'm just like, Ugh. so I'm not using my red truck right now. So it'll have to fit. I'd rather be eight foot ones and they'll fit right there in my SUV just fine. And so that would be one, two, three, four, five, basically five eight foot joints. And I would have it done. And connectors, I'd need one, two, I'd need two couplings and two elbows and a cap. And that. So I know what I need. So I think I'm going to do that. And uh, see if I can't get a better system going for watering in instead of that oscillating thing. Because I feel like that's just wasted. The other day when I come out, it had been, my sprinkler had been going. I don't think my sprinkler's in there. It was over there in the grass, sort of where she is now. And it was, you know, this side, it would come all the way this way. But when it would go, even though it would land, the end of it would be coming out here. It was going completely over the garden. But when it comes back, you know, it's coming straight down at times. But it seemed like this whole corn row was not the least wet at all. If it was, it was just barely. And I'm like, no, this is not working. The sprinkler's not working. So then I brought it on the inside and thought when it goes over and comes back, it'd get it again better. And I still felt like it wasn't getting good. So yesterday, I watered with my water hose. I just kept my finger on it so it wouldn't be really heavy. And I got below the plant and just watered at the ground. Um, but today, I hooked up that soaker hose and was like, well, I'll just use a soaker hose for the plants themselves until I can do something with this side. And that stupid hose is doing something weird and wouldn't work halfway down. So. I'm going to, I think I'm going to use the PVC stuff and make me, it's going to be a lot of little holes drilled in it, but I think it'll be okay. About every six inches, I'll put a hole. Hi, little girl. You only have a couple hours to go and then you can have your nighttime bottle. Oh, you got to pee now? You got to squat down and pee? Anyway, um, that was my, oh, I got this up. Levi helped me. I got to cut it off right there. But I was thinking it was longer than that. I thought I was going to have whatever was cut off was going to be able to go on the other side. And that didn't happen. And you can see it's a real deck board. I didn't, I hated using it for that, but I didn't have another corral board. But this is a corral board. See how much more meat you get? Because on the deck boards, they router these edges and you lose this this much but um yeah Levi helped me get it up 
and uh, that's, that's all I had left for that piece shooting out down there, and I'm gonna cut that. Probably the next video you see will be Levi on his treadmill. So we're gonna see how that goes. All right, love you guys. God bless y'all, and I'll see you later. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.